Hi, I'm Faraz Javed for 7 News Detroit. Four people are dead, 17 are injured after a semi-trailer truck crashed into backed up traffic. This happened just before midnight Saturday on I-96 westbound. I'm standing right before the M52 intersection and that's where it happened. What you can see right behind me is Michigan State Police investigating the crash as well as the cleanup efforts taking place. The wreckage included 15 vehicles, including the semi-trailer truck. These images show some of the damaged cars and SUVs we saw being towed away. The aftermath only adds to one's imagination of what happened Saturday night. When I got here, they had eastbound and westbound shut down. They had under the overpass shut down. Justin McCollum works at the gas station next to the intersection. Justin showed me the security footage. At 11.41 p.m., you can see the fireball explosion rolling down westbound on I-96. We had Stockbridge coming out. We had Williamston, Bath, Fowlerville re uh, responded, Weberville responded. Michigan State Police's 1st District Lieutenant Rene Gonzalez says moments before the crash, a few MSP units had closed the freeway for 15 minutes so that DTE workers could pull power lines across the freeway. We had just reopened the freeway and it was westbound I-96. And at this time, traffic was just starting to move again. It was a little bit backed up. And we had a semi that was also traveling westbound. It had a trailer on it, came up upon the, the group of vehicles. It appears that he didn't see the backup, couldn't stop in time and uh, drove into the group of vehicles. Um, that caused a huge collision with a group of vehicles, uh, an explosion and vehicles catching on fire. Of the four killed, three people were traveling in the same car, all related from Lansing. A 46 year old man along with two women, 20 and 33 year olds. The fourth victim, a 29-year-old man, was from Carson City. Meanwhile, the 17 injured were rushed to Sparrow Hospital and McLaren Hospital in serious condition. Uh, the semi-truck driver was injured in the crash, as well as burns. Lieutenant Gonzalez says the semi-trailer truck, which was carrying produce, was completely burned and crushed in the crash. Is it normal for power lines to be pulled across expressways in the middle of the night? It's, it's the best time to do it because the traffic is minimal at that time. As the investigation continues, this father of three can begin to imagine how many lives will be impacted by the crash. There's some family today that are going to be traumatized for the rest of their lives because of what happened today. MSP also says after the cleanup, MDOT engineers will check the bridge for structural integrity, which will require time. Hence, Monday morning commuters may have to find an alternate route as the section of the road may be closed. In Weberville, I'm Faraz Javed, 7 News Detroit.